uh, HP Laser Jet P2015. Got this printer a long time ago, and it's starting to give me problems. Here's what it uh, here's what it does. When I turn it on, see that? Turn it on. I got a paper jam light, and uh, it just sits there. It doesn't do anything else. So the problem we're having with this is it's the old motherboard. I think it's, uh, it's when things get old, they start losing connections with all the chips and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take out the chips and we're gonna bake it in the oven. We're gonna bake it for uh, eight minutes at a uh, 375 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna take the paper tray out. And I'm gonna remove the uh, remove the toner cartridge, and then we're gonna take the cover off and take the cover off. <laughs> Turn it towards the back. Take this this uh, memory cover off. In the back, you should be able to pull the cover off with a screwdriver. By sticking a screwdriver in there, you should be able to pop right off. I think you should be able to pop right off. There we go. Pop the cover right off, and. Here is the board that we need to put in the oven. Just pull off all the connectors. Okay. And then we'll get our get our screwdrivers. There's only like four screws here. Undo the screws. And there's a board. If you look at it, those are those micro chips. A whole bunch of ceramic multi layers. And then we got big old control chips at the bottom. And something's loose on the board somehow. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bake this in the oven. for uh, eight minutes at 375 degrees. You gotta make sure you suspend this out somehow so you so some of these components are not touching the hot surface because you don't want them to fall off. I got my board, got my pan. I'm gonna stick it in the, uh, in the pan. I'm gonna take it over to my oven. I already warmed it up. 375 degrees. So, come, Mister, you can uh, burn yourself. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. 375 degrees. I'm gonna set it, set it for eight minutes. Okay, we are almost done. Here we go. And we're gonna clear and off. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna open the door. Okay, we're gonna open the door. Let us some of that heat out. What we don't want is we don't want to handle it right now, right away. Because uh, chances are you will drop it. And because all the solders might be like melted or something right now at this point. So you don't want to drop that and uh, have those little resistors and chips and transistors just flying off your board. So we're going to let it sit there. 
open the door, let some of that heat out, and then uh, turn off the stove. And then when it cools down a little bit, we're going to move that from the oven. And we're going to go sit it on our table and let it completely cool. So for right now, we're going to leave it there for a couple of minutes. Put on these mittens. We're going to carefully uh, take out our parts from the oven. And we're going to set it on the table here. Carefully. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. The parts. Okay, the part is completely cool. You can see this is melted on, but I don't think it does any damage. And uh, I don't have no loose parts in the pan, so looks like everything's ready. So. See these screws? I'm going to take the screws out. Just little screws that I put on here to elevate it. Okay, now we're going to go back. We're going to go install it and see if it works. We got our screws. Put them back in there. Just going to install this the same way how it comes out. Okay, screw there. That's pretty nice. They actually have a little pin right there with a hole to hold the board in while you're screwing it on. Back on place. Make sure they're tight because I don't want to have to go back and tighten the screws back on. And uh, it's obvious, you know, these all lined up, and you know, so you just plug it right into the same spot where it came out of. Okay, okay, and that one there, and just gotta be careful with the ribbons so they don't break them. Kind of wiggle it a little bit and it should go right in. Don't try to force it because if you damage it, you have to throw the whole thing away and start over. Okay, that's in. That's in. Came now. Before I put my cover on. I want to test it first before I put the cover on. And then we got to return the toner cartridge back in. Otherwise, uh, when we turn it on, it will give us an error. Okay, let me plug it in. My USB, my power cord. Okay, here we go. There it goes. There goes the light. Okay, so everything's testing okay so far. We're just waiting for it to do its final check. It's checking the paper. Checking for errors. And then it will start blinking. And then it should be online. Okay. It's giving me that air because I didn't put my paper tray back. Okay. I'm going to take my paper tray. Install my paper tray. There you go. Cleared. And gives me a copy of what I printed earlier. Which is working. Yes. So I just saved 150 bucks. Don't have to go buy a new one. 
And uh, cool. Now you know how to fix the old printers and bring back to life again. Well, if you find one of these in the garbage, pick it up because chances are you can save it and save a spot in the landfill for something else. All right, thank you for watching and subscribe. Oh, and to to reinstall the covers, I almost forgot. The cover goes back on. The front goes in first. You got a couple of clips here that goes inside. Put the front in first. Make sure you got it on the top and the bottom. And when you get towards the back, just snaps. That's it. Okay. Thank you for watching.